back to the channel y'all welcome back to the channel here we're using the sc johnson family company on kiwi shoe polish here guys to renew and protect black leather we're gonna try something different with it we're gonna see how good this kiwi polish do on the trim here on my nissan pathfinder all right guys you can see the trim is kind of elected right up in here uh, pretty much all the way down on this fender wheel here now you can use a liquor kind i never tried it you know you can get, i'm gonna try it for you guys though we'll get the liquor shoe polish and see how it does on this trim as well all right but today we got the paste polish so uh let's see what it'll do all right now i got it here applied to the sponge here so we're gonna go ahead and spread it up there Oh, I slip out my hand. Let's see what we got going on here. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm just assuming that <laughs> it'll work, though. All right. I don't even know how long it'll last, really. I'm just buffing it up here and take it back off. The same way you would put it on shoes. I wonder where it'll work on trim like this. All right, so up here, we'll hit it twice. We'll see what it'll do. I don't know what it's going to do. Might not do nothing. I don't know. So um, we can go ahead on and um, buff it back off. There we go. Just as I thought, it does the exact same thing it does on the shoe. As you can see how it's putting a gloss here. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Yes, sir. Stop playing with it. Flip the rag. Look at here. Stop playing with it. It done the exact same thing that it would do. Look at here, guys. Y'all saw how do that was at first. Thinking outside of the box, man. Look at here. Stop playing with it. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, you know, when you use this, the pigments from it, like the black pigments, going to go down into whatever you're working it on, whether you're working on a scratch. Could be a black car that you got some scratches on. And the shoe polish will go down into it. It's basically like a paste wax. And we'll try it on a scratch, too, and see what will it do. All right, but y'all see how good it worked there. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, we'll apply some more. Let's work it again. I get it off like this. Make sure it don't get on your clothes. Just put it around a rag like that. Spread it right up here like this. See those pigments help turns it black. No matter what. Look at there. Put it on the body and I heard it dark color anyway those pigments in here gonna help turn it black all right put it up there let's kind of let it haze y'all know me your boy always thinking <laughs> gotta get smart out here because these car companies i charge you for a whole lot of stuff that you got stuff already in your house that'll work for trim faded trim i'm telling you who would thought Kiwi paste polish would work? I didn't. You won't ever know unless you try this stuff, though. All right. Okay. Once you put it up there, let it haze for a minute. Take it and buff it right back off. All right. Some people like that door look like that. I like mine with a little gloss to it, though. I don't like that door look. Not on my trim. All right, so let's go and buff it back off and see what we get. Here we go. Just as I thought. Look at there. Nice gloss. You ain't got to worry about the rain washing this away. And then, look at there. Stop playing with it. Yes, sir. Look at there, y'all. Stop playing with it. <laughs> Flip the rag to a clean side. Stop playing with it, man. Y'all see, y'all see it works. 
Yes, sir. Now y'all know what to use when you got some faded trim. Get you some daggone paste polish or shoe polish. Alright. Check that out. Y'all can't tell me that didn't work. Yes, sir. Stop playing with it. Y'all know what time it is. Remember where you seen it? Paste polish on trim. Stop playing with it and tell me it didn't work. Stop playing with it. I'm out of here, man. Peace.